In this video, we're going to have a look at the lymphatic system. And what we want to do is look at the functions and then look at the details of each of the things that the lymphatic system does for us. And along the way, we'll learn about the structure. So let's start looking quickly at the three functions. We'll walk through all three functions, and then we're going to come back and look at them in greater detail. So let's start. So the first uh, function that we could look at is that it prevents edema. And without the lymphatic system, we would have an accumulation of fluid within the tissues, which is known as edema. The second function is that it detects and fights pathogens. So we're going to see the lymphatic system will drain the extra fluid from different parts of the body, and it passes through some quality control centers, which are lymph nodes where immune cells hang out and are able to recognize pathogens and initiate an immune response. Now let's look at the third function. The third major function of the lymphatic system is to absorb fats from the small intestine. And we're going to see that there are these things called lacteals, which are very specialized parts of the lymphatic system. And we'll talk again about what is happening here. So let's start with preventing edema. In order to prevent edema, we have to talk a little bit about what happens at a capillary bed. Let's zoom in. So in a capillary bed, now, first of all, I want to point out, not all capillary beds are open at once. But if a capillary bed is open, then what happens is fluid comes out. Now, we have to return most of this fluid back to the blood, or else my blood volume would go down. So, we have this, this situation where, in the arterial side of the capillary, fluid will come out. And towards the venous side of the capillary, the fluid will go back in. But the amount of fluid that is recovered is somewhere in the order of about 85%. So that means there's 15% of the fluid that isn't recovered by the capillaries or the first little segment of the venules. Now, if we did not recover this 15% of fluid, it would accumulate within the tissues and I would end up with edema. The other thing it would do, it would start to decrease your blood volume. So we have to have a way to take up that extra fluid that has not been reabsorbed by the venous end of the capillaries. And that's where the lymph system comes in. The extra fluid will move into the lymphatics and the lymphatics will then take it and eventually return it into the blood. Now let's have a look about how this happens. And let's go over here. So here's a close up of the lymphatics. And this is the end of the lymphatic vessel. And you can see that the cells that make up the wall of the lymph uh, have spaces between them. And often these parts overlap each other, almost like a flap valve. That if I have a buildup of tissue fluid, that creates a pressure on the outside and pushes this open, and fluid will now enter the lymphatic vessels. Now, out here, this was interstitial fluid, but once it enters into the lymphatics, we're gonna to refer to it as lymph. These lymph vessels are held in place by a number of collagen fibers to make sure that they don't move and they stay within place. Now, when we look at these lymph vessels, they look very similar to veins in some ways, not exactly the same. But we can see that they are very thin walled here and they do have valves. And this ensures that there's a one directional flow of the lymph. Also, if you think about it, this is where another function of the lymph comes in and the lymphatics is that pathogens can get into here and circulate within the lymph. And we'll come back and talk about that when we talk about the lymph nodes. This is also potentially a pathway for metastatic cancer cells to travel. That cancer cells may be able to enter the lymph and use the lymph system to travel to new parts of the body. So let's talk more about detecting and fighting pathogens. Now, as fluid is collected, let's say the fluid from here in the finger. Remember there's valves 
So this is going to travel back towards the heart because lymph, lymph fluid eventually ends up back into the heart. But before it gets there, it's going to pass through a series of lymph nodes. Now, where are these lymph nodes? They're not equally spaced throughout the body. They're located in clusters. And some of the most important clusters would be at the back of the knee, the popliteal lymph nodes, the inguinal. There's lymph nodes in the abdomen. There's more superficial and deep ones. There are lymph nodes near the uh, anterior side of the elbow. We also have quite a few lymph nodes up here in the axillary region and also lymph nodes in the neck and the head region also. And many people have experienced these when they've had a cold that they will have swollen lymph nodes, which is an indication that there's an infection that has been detected by the lymph node and the lymph node is now trying to fight it. So let's now take a look at one of these lymph nodes and go over here. Now let's have a look at some of their, their features. That first of all, they have many entrance ways for lymph. So lymph gets collected into a lymph node and there are, as I said, there's many afferents that head in here. Now just, this just is a reminder here that these have valves so it's one-way flow. So there's many entrance ways to bring the lymph within here but there's only one exit, one efferent. You also notice that there's a capsule around here and that we have wall-like structures. So this increases the surface area within a lymph node. Now, what's also in a lymph node? This is the home to many of the white blood cells, and two of the main ones that we'll talk about very briefly here would be T cells and B cells. So we would have populations of T cells and B cells throughout here. Now, I'm not going to go into what T cells and B cells do. That's for another lecture. But what they are, they are part of the immune system that is able to recognize and launch different types of immune responses. So if a pathogen just does happen to end up here, or if one of the cells that can find a pathogen, engulf it, such as an antigen-presenting cell, ends up here and is able to present an antigen, then we can get an immune response. Now, before any lymph is returned back into the circulatory system, it will pass through a lymph node or a series of lymph nodes. So all the lymph is collected and moves its way back towards the heart. It comes up from the lower legs, it comes up from the abdominal cavity, and there are two main places where it is returned. We have the right lymphatic duct and that returns blood from the right side of the body not the whole right side of the body it's basically this region of the body so it's kind of like a quarter of the body on the other side the fluid is collected and the fluid from below is moved over onto this side and the fluid is returned here by the thoracic duct now let's have a look at the third function so the third function of the lymphatic system is to absorb fats from the small intestine. The fat droplets in the GI tract are covered with molecules and these allow them to be suspended within basically the chyme, the material within the small intestine. Now that makes it difficult or impossible for them to be absorbed by the other roots that other things such as proteins and amino acids are absorbed by. So what we have is a special system where fats are absorbed by these modified structures which are part of the lymphatic system called a lacteal. Or let's review quickly that there are three main functions for the lymphatic system. Number one is to prevent edema. Number two is to detect and fight pathogens through the use of lymph nodes through the lymph vessels and lymph eventually gets returned to the blood and the third function is to absorb fats from the small intestine if this was of any use did you find it handy drop me a comment hit the like button and feel free 
to subscribe to the site and I have a number of videos that cover many aspects of human anatomy and physiology and more will be coming out soon. Thank you.